two, one, zero. We have lift off at Falcon 9. Falcon 9 is clear to tower. Elon Musk and his SpaceX successfully launching its Falcon 9 rocket last night. It deployed 11 satellites into orbit for Orbcom, that's a New Jersey communications company. And 10 minutes later, the 15-story booster rocket came back down to Earth in control, landed vertically for the first time in Florida's Cape Canaveral. That is pretty cool, right? Well, Enright Group Managing Partner Joshua Katz and Space.com Managing Editor Tarek Malik join me now. Tarek, what do you think, you know, reusable rockets, that really is the main part of the story here. What does it mean for, say, going to Mars one day? Well, this is a big step forward, both in pushing the technology we would need to make spacecraft more uh, affordable, uh, to make launches both into orbit and ultimately off to Mars and back from Mars uh, affordable. Uh, Elon Musk said just last night that just that one landing uh, made, it, made the whole thing much more uh, possible for him. He was so excited. He said in a tweet, welcome back, baby, which I thought was uh, really good to see a little human side of Elon Musk there. Josh, where do you think NASA fits in in all of this? Elon Musk has a contract with NASA to deliver uh, supplies to the International Space Station, plus potentially uh, astronauts by 2017. How does this drive with U.S. national uh, government space goals? Well, this is uh, absolutely what happens when the government does not have a policy, doesn't have a direction, because uh, th there is an absolute void here. The uh, NASA has been absolutely decimated over the years, um, and we no longer have a government sort of vision uh, that Americans can rally behind to get us back to space, get us on the cutting edge again. And now Elon Musk uh, had, to, had to fill that role, and he's done it resoundingly. Well, he's not the only one. Amazon.com founder Jeff Bezos uh, added a congratulatory tweet with a little shade thrown in. He said, congrats SpaceX on landing Falcon suborbital booster stage. Welcome to the club. And of course, Bezos successfully landed his Blue Origin rocket before Musk uh, just about a month ago. So Tarek, is Elon getting all of the credit here? The rockets are actually very different. Well, yeah, they have different rockets. And, uh, you know, Elon Musk and, and SpaceX, they did something very different than what uh, Bezos and Blue Origin did. They launched all the way into orbit. They brought it back uh, to their a larger first, rocket, a larger rocket, um, a faster rocket, uh, and uh, one that they hope uh, will launch people as well as satellites uh, instead of just uh, uh, the people that uh, Blue Origin is uh, is doing too. And at the same time, they did l deliver 11 satellites into space. That's right. Uh, so it was, it was a business a, mission. This was like a gravy kind of achievement that they did uh, on top of a, a working a working day for them. But a lot of expectation after that explosion uh, in June. All right, thank you both of you for joining us today. We appreciate it.